These are the answers for the Unit 6 study guide, ELR 6.7. The first of two questions says, what is the difference between an open and a closed system? In an open system, it allows matter, or mass, to come and go as it will. So if in our experiment, when we did the Erlenmeyer flasks, the open system was the one without the balloon. That meant that any of the gases that were made on the inside could come out, or anything that was in our room could go in, and there was nothing to stop it. That's what made it an open system. A closed system is where we have the balloon on, in the, on the flask, and that means that there's no way for matter to go in or come out in a perfectly closed system. Energy can still come in or out, like we could still add heat to the substance, or it could cool off and add heat to our room, but matter can't go in and out. And so our balloon filled up with gases and inflated um, since it couldn't escape the system. Number two, climatologists uh, and the Earth. The question is asking if the Earth is an open or closed system and to justify. I would argue that the Earth is a closed system because it does not matter does not naturally leave or enter our planet, with the few exceptions of things like asteroids. So in a normal day, the Earth would be classified as a closed system, just because our, our atmosphere stays here, all of our materials, all of our matter stays here. You could also argue that it's an open system to the rest of the universe, because especially with humans now experimenting with space flight, we have taken some of the materials on our planet, and we've gone up gone to the moon and, and other places in the solar system, and you could argue that asteroids entering our atmosphere and entering our planet is also a reason why we have an open system. But it all comes down to how you have justified it.